Okay, guys. Uh, so still on our revisions of the DC machines, we need to consider typical exam questions just to make sure that we are prepared for our uh, exams. So this is August 2019, question 1.2 that we are going to consider. The armature of a four-pole motor, so that's, we are already given, it's a motor there, is lip wound with 2,050 conductors and runs at 980 revs per minute, taking an armature current off from this. So because of the specific EMF equation, uh, they, we do not even need to consider even the diagram. All right, I, I hope now, guys, you do understand your diagrams and so forth. There is no need. All right, so we are given that it's a four pole. So what are we given? The pair poles. So let us just consider our data there. So the pair poles divide four by two. That means we've got two pairs, all right? So that is a lap wound. Remember in a lap C is equal to two P. So two times two, that will be a four. With 2,050 conductors, that is 2,050 amateur conductors runs at 980. That is the speed. 980 revolutions per minute and also taking an amateur current of so there we have got the amateur current of 45 amps from the voltage of 480 volts so anyways they already told us the motor but you need to know if it is drawing in current it's a motor all right this is supply the resistance of the amateur circuit is given there we are just given only a single, just a, just a single resistance. There's nothing to be considered there. Calculate the following 1.21, the useful flux per pole in milliwebers. The useful flux per pole, we know that this has to be calculated if we are given either one of these. Where we have got the useful flux per pole is on the generated EMF and also on the torque, but we do not have the torque. There's nothing that we can use to calculate the torque. What about the generated EMF? Can we calculate because we do not have the generated EMF? Are we going to be able? Yes, we can use our specific EMF equation. From the specific EMF equation, because this is a motor that we are talking about, it follows that E is equal to, all right, so let us just try to, we have it stage by stage. So in this case, we are going to calculate E first, which is the generated EMF, which is V minus IARA. Remember, it's a motor, so it's going to be a back EMF. That's a negative there. So this is everything in the armature circuit. So we can have the generated EMF, the voltage we are given, 480, the armature current, we have got everything we are given, then only a single resistance that we are given in the armature, so that is what you're going to use uh, like that, all right? So that is, we are going to have our E as 463,8 volts as the generated EMF. So with the generated EMF, what about the useful flux? And we're given in milliwebers. We saw that. The same generated EMF that we just calculated now can also be calculated from the formula. Generated EMF is equal to 2PN, then we've got NZ uh, flux over 60C, provided this is in revolutions per, per minute. And there the useful flux is there. So we can think of that. Calculating this, it is because we were not having the generate. Otherwise, if there was the generated EMF already given. We're just going to use the formula straightforward. So guys, I talked about manipulating this. So the flux is going to be 60 uh, C times E, then definitely we divide by 2 P and Z. So, all right. So if you divide by 2 P, so it's going to be something like this, 2 P and Z. I think this formula, guys, I don't know how many times we've talked about this. So the 60 times C, uh, that is, see, the number of our parallel path, which is 4 times E. Uh, remember, we calculated our E here, 
comma eight, then over two P times N times Z, two times P, the number of purples, which is P is two, the purples there that we have got um, is the two. Then times uh, the N, the speed, 980 amateur conductors, 2050. So the speed, any there, 980. The amateur conductors there, we saw it was uh, 2050. So this was going to give us the useful flux in Webers. But because they gave us an instruction in milli Webers, in milli Webers, so simply to convert to milliwebers, this is what you're going to do. You simply multiply by the opposite. Remember, milliwebers means times 10 to the exponent of minus three webers. So the opposite, you use a plus when you want to convert to milliwebers. To convert to milliwebers, you multiply by uh, 10 to the exponent of positive 3. So whatever that you're going to have here, the moment that you multiply it by 10 to the exponent of a positive 3, the answer is no longer in just Weber's, but it is now in milli Weber's. That is the condition there. So that is our useful flux. So the useful flux in this case, if we were to calculate this properly, it was going to give us 13 comma eight five two to three decimal places, which is milli Webers. So that is what you're going to have if you were to calculate this uh, properly. Uh, just also consider your calculations. If there's anything, let us know uh, on the comment section so that we can be able to refer back to the question. All right, that is 1.21. 1. Then 1.2 to calculate the Talkie developed by the amateur. Guys, I don't know how many times I did talk about this, that as long you have used this formula before and you're asked to calculate the talk, think of this formula. Think of that. So until we understand that, I'm going to talk about that, guys, until we do understand this. So think of that because we used this formula. It is the, the moment that this formula you use it, it means this formula can be used. 0, 0.318 uh, times the amateur current over C times Z times the purples times the useful flux. It can be used. And that's, we can have our talk, which is the useful talk. So that was going to be 0, 0,318 times the amateur current, which is 45 amps over C, which is 4 times the Z, the amateur conductors, 2050, the pair poles uh, being 2. Then the useful flux, which is the one that we just calculated now. So remember, our useful flux here, we got 13,852. So that is going to be 13,852. I mean, 13,852 milli Webers. So you multiply by 10 to the power of. This is rewriting the milli Webers. We are not converting to milli Webers. Remember, just a milli mil as it is, it is 10 to the exponent of a negative. But to convert back to that, that is when you multiply by the opposite. So this was going to give us the value of the torque in this case, which was going to be 203,178 uh, Newton meters. Remember, your units also. So sometimes you are given the units where you just have to uh, consider the unit that you're already given. You're not given the units then know the units of each and every part. So these are the typical questions that uh, you are also supposed to revise along as you are preparing for your exams ahead of time. And also try to join membership so that you do not miss any other questions that we might have uh, as we are working on our electrotechnics N5. Till 
we meet again